When someone passes, where do they go? Gone forever, or can they show? What if you could find someone between to bridge the gap of those unseen? I see departed souls, and I'm able to communicate with them. I get messages from beyond from your lost loved ones. You may be surprised at what they have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Livingston, The People's Medium. Hi. Hello, John. How are you? I'm good, sweetheart. How are you? I'm fantastic. Happy All, All Saints All Day. Souls day. Oh, is it All Souls yes. Day or All Saints Day? What is it? Uh, Saints Day was yesterday. Oh, okay. Now it's All Souls Day. Okay. So can, yes. we, can you describe the difference for, <laughs> for even me? Because I don't even know. Well, it started um, really as a, as a pagan holiday years and years ago. And um, it's after Halloween. And we talked about Halloween uh -huh. uh, last time. Uh -huh. uh, so um, what they did, it, they made November 1st the Saints in honor of the saints day it's in honor of souls in heaven and oh. we need to send prayers up to the souls in heaven also the veil is thinner not just at halloween but even now so okay. they um will probably come down more than ever with uh, messages from heaven hopefully mm. and it's been going on for years um in europe spain mexico they have big parades and celebrations um on this day, okay. All Souls Day. It's a, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it <laughs> is. I, I mean, well, I guess it's not that well known in in the U.S. though, huh? And I'll give you a little background here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a saint. <laughs> His name was Adila, and he was in a monastery in France, and it was the 10th century. Uh huh. Um, so he was the first to propose this: that November second is officially the day of all. Um, souls and so we are to honor them in heaven we are to send love up to heaven and that's how that all got started so i figured it's a pretty good day yeah pretty good day for a show it is it is and uh, the communication should be pretty good just like halloween <laughs> right <laughs> exactly yes <sir>. great <laughs> well it's always good with you so you know yeah, you're you're and always I'm just hoping they can see me on my fan page. <laughs> yeah, I think they can. And in fact, um, I want to tell people how they can call in to get a free mini reading on the air. Uh, you can call 323-649-8268. Again, 323-649-8268. Also, visit us in the chat room at UBN Radio Channel 2. Channel 2, UBN Radio. Click Channel 2 and uh, log in with your social media and you can uh, chat with us there. So um, I'll be uh, checking it periodically and uh doing my best here to interject from time to time so yay john <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and i, I want to thank all the viewers and listeners for emailing me yeah things have been happening they've been seeing signs they've been uh, more open and awakened than ever great and uh love it <laughs> yeah i i know that i have uh, and i i know that um it seems like I, even today i was getting little glimpses of like uh, what is it flashes or glitter or something you know what I mean just like at yeah. the corner of my eye uh, when I was in you know I was like am I getting dizzy <laughs> what's going on <laughs> I was like is this the medication what's going on but uh but no and then I remember you know that's one of the signs isn't it yeah yeah so and like it's kind of uh, peripheral vision. yeah yes it was spar yes sparkles. sparkles that's the word I was looking for glitter so glittery sparkles <laughs> yes and I got I have to say this. Yeah. Bless Stephanie in New England. Yes. <laughs> she writes to me all the time. I love you, Stephanie. <laughs> she said, uh, well, she asked actually a couple weeks ago if musicians in heaven yeah. will pull their energy down if we sing their songs or if we play their music. Right. And I, and I said, yes. So she loves uh, the Carpenters from, I guess it's the 1970s, uh -huh. especially Karen Carpenter. And this is kind of cute. Yeah. She's the... Uh, I used to work in the same route, and she turned on the Carpenters. Karen Carpenter was singing, and she said, Karen, if you're around me, give me a sign. Uh -huh. And she actually passed a street sign that said Carpenter Street. Oh, perfect. So she was so excited, <laughs> and she said, that's definitely her uh -huh. saying hello. Yeah. And she said, Michelle, I go that route every single morning you know, to go to work, and I never 
glanced over and saw Carpenter Street, whatever. I just thought that was kind of cute. I think that's great. Uh, and that's why, and, uh, that's how they communicate, right? With signs. With signs, with license plates, uh-huh. and even with billboards. I told you, I, I don't know if I told the story about the um, cat named Bob. Did I tell you that? One of the yes, other you did. I love that one. It's kind of cute. Yeah. The, the, uh, the <laughs> Tell it again girl. for the audience. Who may not, okay, because yeah. there might be some new um, yeah. listeners and watching. I'm sure there Anyhow, are. Anyhow, uh, viewers, <laughs> there, there was a girl whose uh, dad was great sense of humor. He didn't like cats, but her dad's name was Bob. She went to the shelter after her dad passed mm-hmm. and got a male cat named him Bob. And so that morning she said, Dad, in heaven, if you know I have a cat in your honor named Bob, give me a sign. Yeah. <laughs> and at lunchtime, the license plate in front of her in the car, at the car in front of her said Bobcat. So that was within an hour. Wow. Or so. so sometimes it takes longer. We've talked about this. Sometimes right. it takes a week for them to say hello. Mm-hmm. Sometimes overnight, sometimes an hour. Yeah. Just depending. So pretty, pretty interesting. Really interesting. I love it. And there's so many signs there. Um, a big one, though, as we know, is electrical occurrences. Which is happening right now. <laughs> is really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, angels. Well, that's the funny thing. You know, if Michelle is in Pennsylvania. I'm here in uh, Hollywood. And, and we, you know, we have to do computer to computer communication. And all the way, she's on the East Coast. We're here in the West Coast. And, and from time to time, that seems to be what happens whenever we start talking about spirit. Uh, we'll be talking about everything else under the sun. Then we start talking about spirit. And then all the communication starts getting garbled. And, and it's very and interesting. You know, that is true because yeah. I do phone readings throughout the country. And when the spirit many times is about to come in, they're static. So yeah. it is true. Yeah, electromagnetic <laughs> energy. They, they they affect those fields. And uh, right. yeah, and a lot of it is around me right now. So I'm sure it's being affected. <laughs> do you feel energy? John? Oh, yeah, I, I do. And like I was saying, especially since since um, the end of this month, you know, I've been feeling the energy. I've been um, I even uh, on, on the Both Sides Now show, I was giving readings. You know, so oh my goodness. yeah, so you know, both I, sides now with Kelly and Shirley. Um, we had a guest medium uh, along with Kelly, and and they asked me to chime in and give some messages, and and some messages came through, and really strong messages that oh they just goodness. didn't want uh to you know like it was like sort of the end of the call, and they're like ask her about the the golden heart, and I'm like the golden heart, and I'm like, Ooh. but I I asked the question, and I said I said she's saying she showed me this golden heart symbol, like you know how people make a heart with oh. their hands, you know, like yes. like sending you love like kind this. of thing. Yeah, exactly. You're doing it <laughs> perfect. Yeah, and I kept seeing a golden one though, and I'm like, is she sending her? Because she was saying she's an angel, and I'm like, is she sending her? golden love or i'm like but i said i said i'm just gonna say it golden heart i said what, what's the significance of a golden heart and and it was big time significance so yeah John, well you know you're psychic <laughs> well and it's all rubbing off it. after working with you and and, and james <laughs> and kelly and all teams. of them yeah. yes uh-huh. yeah it really is it's really opening up yeah so again tonight if you get a feeling or a vibe just chime in okay okay <laughs> from will. east east to west <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah, yeah. so it's it's been really an interesting week. Um, had a lot of, of wonderful callers. Yes. Some uh, actually have seen me on James Von Prague's show, filling in mm-hmm. with Kelly. Yeah. And even before that. And so... Um, and you were just on Fox, too. Just local, yeah, I was right? Yeah, just on Fox, Fox News. Yeah, you were great, giving the, the, uh, the anchor a, a reading. Yeah, yeah, a little mini reading. And yeah. I love to see people's reactions, John. Oh, yeah. That, that's a part of it. I might bring a guest on here uh or one or two I love that. just to do a mini reading that if would we be great. can if we can split screen sure we I can that how's yeah. audio and video right now it's clearing up it's clearing up it's it's getting way better so your angel prayer is working <laughs> <laughs> keep going angels <laughs> yeah yeah it's getting better <laughs> yeah and i think a lot of times too it has to do with a lot of people tuning in it does yeah i i find that it really does mm-hmm. so as long as it's clear yeah. perfect and I always um, put it on YouTube mm-hmm. as well. And it seems to clear up once I get it on YouTube. Yeah, so good. The, the live feed sometimes. Well, I do crazy. know that the the phone lines are full, believe it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've had, um, yeah, over 100 calls since we started the show already. So That's great. Yeah, we're doing great. Well, I'm getting the word out, slowly yes. but surely. 
Yes, you are. And we're talking about your book, Miraculous Encounters, tonight, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Those are um, different ways they communicate. I call it chicken soup for the spiritual soul or whatever. There are 10 ways. There are 10 chapters. Actually, one's on angels. Mm -hmm. I heard you talking about, like you just said, with Kelly, the golden heart. Yeah. Angels, when I see them, they're big columns of light, and they pulsate different colors. So each color represents something. An angel of protection would pulsate royal blue, and uh, an angel of love uh, with more of a feminine vibration would pulsate rose pink. Mm. Then the wings start. When I first see them, they're just columns, and Mm. then the wings will appear. Wow. So that's very interesting. And spirit guides, you know, we were talking about that a while ago, John. They are different from angels. Right. You know that. Yeah. But can you explain to the audience how they're different? Yeah. Angels come from a very high frequency. Mm -hmm. So we've heard of Archangel Michael, Protector, Gabriel, Messenger, Mm -hmm. um, and Raphael, the Divine Healer. And so uh, also raise your higher vibration, put EL in it somewhere. Could you repeat that, Michelle? Michelle. Sorry. What did you say? You put... You put E-L, okay. which means like unto God coming from God. Oh. So many uh, guardian angels and archangels have E-Ls. Like Elohim. Like e- yes. Elohim. Okay. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. Somewhere in their name. Uh-huh. And they're a very high frequency. So spirit guides, though, are human souls that train to be our helpers. They could be souls that we've known or people that we've known from past lives. Mm. Or they can be relatives. So are there and, people uh, that are studying to be a spirit guide right now while they're here in this incarnation interesting yes sometimes uh in uh, when we get over there up there Uh hello Uh (laughs) sometimes we get up to heaven (laughs) we choose a relative or two on the earth to uh watch over and to gently guide Mm. now we can influence but we can never force a human being to do anything okay that's sure it's not our right because everyone has free choice and free will. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So um, that's for sure. And there's different... So st- how, how are we doing, John? Are we clearing up? Yeah, yeah. It's just a little bit here and there. And if any time that uh, we can't make something out, I'll just have you repeat it. So, yeah. Okay. So, so um, people, be patient. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what we were talking about, about spirit guides, um, now you have a spirit guide for life and then you have different ones that come in and out? Yes, project guides. Okay. You have a spirit guide for life, mom. Guide is what you're breaking up, sweetie. What'd you say? I said my spirit guide uh, is Daniel. Daniel, uh huh. His name is Daniel, Mm -hmm. and he is my lifetime spirit guide. Okay. Um, Then there are project guides, uh, John, that come and go around us. Okay. If if we're writing a book, Mm -hmm. if we are composing a piece of music, if we're building a house, Uh uh, a project guide will come down to help us. For that amount of time, and then they're off again. So um, oh, it's interesting. Yeah. And there's probably a guide with you right now. Yeah, that would be <laughs> helping you. Going to help you with psychic reading. Oh, I was just about to ask you that. So there you go, Miss Psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do they come in to help you with your developing your psychic ability? Yes. And and would I have, would they stick um, with you, or how long would they stay, or is it just until I, they feel they need to move on, or? Until the project is over. Okay. But I also have three angels Mm -hmm. that I work with called the light beings. And they have been with me for 25 years since I started readings. And three is the number of protection. Yeah. So they will form a triangle of protection Uh around us and around whoever I'm doing a reading for. Wow. And I always say a prayer of protection as well. Right. Yeah. So... Um, the light beings are pretty powerful. Mm, mm-hmm. I'll tell them to step in and clear things out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you did that before, and it really did clear things up. So, yeah, yeah. so bring them in, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, that's Come on, guys. <laughs> no, everything's good. Um, it's just interesting because I have a v- big time fascination with spirit guides. 
-hmm. more so than I do people who have crossed over. I don't know why that is, but um, I have a big time fascination with uh, spirit guides. I know you just said that they are people who were here on Earth, but um, can they be? What about ascended masters? Maybe we can get into that. How uh, so? There's ascended masters, spirit guides, and angels, right? Are those the three classes? Okay. Okay. So what Um, about ascended masters? Saint Germain, Mm -hmm. for example, the ascended master with the purple violet flame, Mm -hmm. could be. Um, a guide if you would um, invoke Saint Germain Mm -hmm. and there are so so many uh, in my book well living in the afterlife Mm -hmm. uh, there's a whole chapter on different types of ascended masters okay there's the the Christ consciousness Mm -hmm. there's the Buddha consciousness Mm -hmm. that we can work with there uh, is Kuan Yin Yes. And she's the Asian Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. She's the uh, beautiful goddess of compassion. Yes. And uh, I personally love Mother Mary, so I I work with her, Mm -hmm. her energy, Mm -hmm. which is very nurturing. Yes. Feminine feminine divine energy. And do you know who your guide is uh, personally? Well, I've heard that I have two or three, but those could be project guides. So who is my main guide is the question. And uh, I guess it does. Does it matter if you have a name for them or you just need to be familiar with their energy? No. Okay. I'm getting a name of Andrew for you, though. Okay. Andrew. Andrew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I see a long robe and I see sandals and he comes to help you with uh, difficulties sometimes in your life. Oh, yeah. Plenty so of those. You can call- <laughs> so thank you, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. We all have them. Yeah. But he almost looks like he goes way back in time. Yeah. He really does. Uh-huh. And the way he's dressed and um, light brown hair. Uh-huh. And he tells me that there are so many new things coming up for you. Oh. And it's all good. Good. We love that. And, um, <laughs> I don't. I, why am I doing a reading? I'm doing a reading for you. That's fine. I mean, we're going to open up the phone lines, and you can do the same thing for others. Maybe I'm just the guinea pig to start off with, because I'm sure <laughs> so, a lot of people are going to want to know who their spirit guides are. I, I'm fascinated by that whole subject, actually. I am too. So they have a question about their spirit guide, mm-hmm. or if they want to talk to someone from heaven, a message from heaven. That's fine. Uh-huh. Or just even a confirmation, like I've been getting through emails. Yeah. Of things that have happened. Since uh, since the shows, yeah. actually. Well, great. This is the awakening. <laughs> yeah, and you know, the time flies by so quickly, and, and believe it or not, we're already 20 minutes into the show. <laughs> so, I, yeah. You and it, I talk forever. It, it just flies by, so I think maybe we should get to the phone lines. I do, And too. we'll interject in between. And uh, But uh, if you're calling and you want to have a message from the other side, uh, Michelle's going to do a reading for you. Please make sure that you're not on a speakerphone that you are on a handset. So you can be on your cell phone, but just speak through the handset, not through the speaker. Um, We also ask that you lower your background noise um, from the computer so that we don't get any feedback, um, echo, as they call it. And uh, we will do our best to get through as many calls as we can. The phone lines are full. So uh, keep trying. I know that a lot of people have. So uh, let's get to them. So let's go to, um, Michelle, I'm going to have you pick a number for me. Uh, One to, uh, let's start with one to 20. All right, let's start with eight. Number eight. All right. So eight is nine, seven, eight. Is this Bethany? This is Stephanie. Stephanie. Well, well, hello, Stephanie. How funny is that? Stephanie. Stephanie from New England. We were just talking <laughs> you? about you. That's amazing. Okay. I know. I heard it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, my God. Thank you for, like, answer, like referring to my <laughs> That's incredible. I had no idea. Honestly, I had Michelle pick a number. Isn't this something, That's Steph? Awesome. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> see it's delayed for me, so I didn't see what, that you picked a number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you had that story about the uh, the Karen Carpenter mm-hmm. story. I did. It was pretty amazing. I was listening to, I, I like to listen to Christmas music early, so I put on her CD, and I was thinking about my question that I had, and I was like, I wonder, you know, if there's some way she can, you know, tell me that maybe she's listening. It's always nice to know. And then I, all of a sudden, like, my reaction was, wow, because I passed by Carpenter. She so was like, okay. I think that's, a sign. that's really cool. 
you to get through I the first call. It. Well, it's really wild, uh, Michelle, because the computer said I Bethany. Know, I can't believe it. it. must be meant to be. It, it's totally meant to be because the computer said Bethany, so I had no idea it was Stephanie, and you said number eight, so I just went to number eight on the call yeah. list. So that, that's so, why. Well, oh, now I was that you're... number eight another time that I called and you picked number eight, I think. How I'm pretty funny. Sure. <laughs> that's your number. <laughs> well, let me ask Lucky you numbers. something. <laughs> yes, it is. Stephanie, do you have a question about a spirit yes. guide now that I have you on here? <laughs> Or anything, dear. Yes. Yeah, I want to know who my spirit guides are because I've never really asked this. I, I think I obviously want to think of relatives who might be looking over me, but I think I want to know more about, you know, maybe the ones that are from many centuries ago. Or, um, but I mean, I would like to know more about the ones that are probably relatives <laughs> okay. who well, are guiding uh, me. So there's a grandmother. I'm gonna t I'm gonna talk slowly. It, it, can you hear sure. me, Steph? Um, it's a little a, staticky, but I can hear you. Okay, good, darling. Um, there's a grandmother figure who is a spirit guide of yours. And I, she's your on your side. She watches out for you. She gets really sick out of you because your mind tends to go here, there, everywhere. <laughs> mm. So she's... <laughs> She's sending angels down in your vehicle, actually, uh, Stephanie, so that you can oh, keep wow. your can you keep your mind on the wheel, you know. And um, I think you like animals, don't you? Animals. This is I interesting. do. I have a dog. Well, I think you love all animals, and um, <laughs> I know we're at All Souls Day, but yesterday was All Saints Day, and Saint Francis is around you. And he's, oh, wow. the he's the patron saint of animals. So, um, wow. but I, I also want to say your dog sees your grandmother, darling, your doggy. Oh, wow. So if is your this dog, a, mater a maternal great-grandmother? I'm, I'm going to say it's a, it... yeah, it's a grandmother figure. And I feel she's more on your mother's side. So it could be great grandmother. Any, any um, like first name or anything about her like birth? day or anything that because I think I know who it is but I'm just curious yeah. if you're getting any other she, well she's also giving me 11 the number 11 so it could be the 11th day or November could be significant and I do mm. have to say they say there are balloons here she's holding up balloons Stephanie so either something just passed or is around the corner and it's not Thanksgiving so it was like a birthday celebration that just was or is coming up I do have to tell you that. My mom just celebrated her birthday um, uh, uh, last well, later last month. Right. So that's her That's her way of acknowledging your mother, and she's definitely maternal side. She worked a lot with her hands. She did some type of sewing or embroidery work. Mm. She, loved, she loved to cook. Um, M names are, I'm, I'm getting a sound of an M name, not necessarily hers, but someone she wants to acknowledge. All right. Um, hmm. Mary and also Anne or Anna is mentioned. So that could be somewhere back in your family, darling. All right. Yeah, it might be. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, currently. So, <laughs> so do your genealogy and, and March is also significant. So March is something as well. And that could be someone's birth month or crossing month, actually. The third month of the wow. year. All right. Does she so have I, um, a, a special message for her daughter who's still on earth, my grandmother? Um, your grandmother's health is intact, but I do have to say she needs to watch steps when she gets older. All right. Going up and down mm -hmm. steps and um, right. make, make sure she gets good nutrition, Stephanie, your grandmother. Make, and uh, sure. protein. She needs protein in her body. Um and there's also somebody with a glucose imbalance that had some type of a, I don't know if it was diabetes, but tell your grandmother to watch sugar, eating a lot of sugar, okay? Sugar, okay. Yeah, tell her to watch sugar. Great. But she has time left. She's a strong lady, your, your grandmother, very strong. She is. She, she actually, her birthday is coming up this Sunday, so... Oh, there you um, we go. have a lot of well, birthdays in our family. So maybe yeah. that was what the balloons were for. <laughs> and all, for her, and but also, we have so and many also, close birthdays. <laughs> also the number 11, remember? Mm -hmm. I said November. You did. So, yeah. And, um, oh. oh, my yeah. gosh. Okay. Now you'll, 
You'll think of a lot. Yeah, when you go back and listen to it, because this lives on a podcast, or you can rewatch the video on Michelle's page or on um, uh, UBN, you'll be able to uh, listen back and um, gather a lot from it. And then, Steph, you can email me. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This is unbelievable. I know. I do it all the time. I know you do. Bless you. And thanks for being such a loyal supporter of the show. We love having you in the chat room. I love you guys. my highlight to my Wednesday evening. Oh. I always look forward to it when I come oh. home from work. It's like my time of peace and uh, encouragement, so I oh, appreciate it. Thank your, you. your grandmother or your great grandmother hands you a cup of tea. All right. Oh. <laughs> that's not a. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's. What did you call her? Her name's not. Well, I mean, I actually. She only held me as a baby. She died when I was about three months old, I believe. And, um, but she, my mom called her Nana with her grandmother, of course. Oh. Um, so yeah. Well, so she, I she still, was... I still think of her. I know she's probably around me because mm-hmm. I never met her. So I figured maybe she's watching over me, which is true now. Yeah. She <laughs> is. And, and she did a lot with her hands. So confirm that with your grandmother. All right, sweetheart. She Thank made you. pasta by hand. She made uh, pasta by uh, hand. I thought so. She's cooking. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Yeah, thank Bye, you so hi. much. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, that was wonderful. That's so crazy how, you know, that's how spirit works, though. I, you picked eight. She was number eight, and there you go. And <laughs> I had no I idea. I just talked about her with Karen Carpenter. I know you did. So it's great. It's, 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 I think it's good when you talk about somebody, you know, that that's messaged you from the show, that they call in and share with the audience. So we can start ma- you know, making that happen so that people yeah, can get through. And, yeah, Yeah, and uh, spirit made it happen today. So, um, but, you know, one thing I was hearing, um, you want me to be open to my psychic ability and, and messages. Is, it's almost like I have a guide that is trying to produce <laughs> the show. Um, the the guide was saying that even though she had um, uh, a short time on Earth with Stephanie, there are many lifetimes that they've shared together. Yes. And you, yeah. Does that make does that resonate with you, Michelle? Yes, it does. In other words, saying is is her guide, her great grandmother. Yes. Yeah, they've been in past lives together, mm-hmm. and she's from her soul group in heaven. Mm. And can we talk more about soul groups, real quick? Yes, yeah. soul groups. There are, are up to five to ten thousand souls that we incarnate with, but mm-hmm. at different times in history. Mm. So I feel I want to go back to Poland, actually, with Seth and her great grandmother in another lifetime. Okay. Um, and again, she's off the the line now, but uh, in, it's. She'll exactly. be in the chat room, I'm sure, and John She'll will see her in there. The room, so. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, let's move on to our next caller. Go ahead and give me a number, Michelle, from one uh, to tw- uh, let's go uh, one to twenty again. <laughs> let's go eleven. Eleven. Uh, All right. I think th- I believe this is Tracy. Tracy from seven one seven. Is that correct? Yeah. Hi. You're on the air with Michelle. Yes. Can we have your question, Hi, please? Michelle. Hi, Tracy. What's your question? Hi. Well, um, I didn't know uh, what what we could do, but I'm uh, just wondering if, like, can you tell me if I can talk to somebody or anything like that? Who would you like to talk to, darling, in heaven? My mother. Your mother in heaven. All right. Who, mm-hmm. does she have, ca- all right, cancer? Did she have cancer? Uh, no, she didn't. She's with, if she she's did, with- I didn't know it. She's with someone that had cancer. Let me let me tell you that. So either okay. her father, her mother, she's with someone that had cancer. I get this lady yeah. through, and she loves you so much, and she wants also me to tell you there's some changes coming up uh, for you, Tracy. That, that what you is? Were, tr- there are changes coming up for you. Uh, you, oh, you, okay. you tend to worry. You about the future. And she's trying to calm you down, your mother. All right. And did she go mm-hmm. out fairly quickly, Tracy? Did she go out of here fairly yes. quickly? Um, yes. Because I feel like I want to do this and take a deep breath with her. So something may have affected uh-huh. her here before she passed. <clears throat> I don't know if she smoked or you smoke, but there's some smoke I'm smelling coming in here. Mm-hmm. She looks great. Yes, she she looks great. And thanking you for being there for her at the end. This is very important for you to hear, sweetheart. Uh, there's another yeah. there's a, there's another soul, though, that had cancer. 
and they step through and have their hand on their chest and an abdomen. So I think it might have been traveling. And I also have to ask you who lost a child, Tracy? Miscarriage, stillborn, somebody. Uh, mm -hmm. Who is My that? My brother's wife. My brother. All right. That's your mother's way of acknowledging your brother who's still on earth. And um, she has the soul with her. So if you are in communication with your brother and his wife, would you tell them that your mother has the soul? Yes, I will. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Yes. It is. Um, and there's yes. some renovations coming up in your home, Tracy. Oh, okay. There's some, thing, there's some painting. There's some things going on. Your mother likes to be in the kitchen with you. And uh, uh -huh. if you have coffee or tea, she's right there. Actually, she's bringing a mug in with her. So this is, I think, a coffee uh, mug. Yeah. Yep. She's very yep. chatty. She misses talking to you on the telephone. So if your phone rings <laughs> and no one's on the other end or the line it's your mother she's been trying to ring you that's interesting mm -hmm. so watch for that yeah you? i used to talk to her every day yeah and she hears your thoughts and i know you have um a picture of her that you look at and jewelry do you have some of her jewelry um yes i, I wear it every day yeah um there's a special ring so she puts her hand over your hand there's a special ring uh, I feel she didn't have lots and lots of jewelry, but whatever she had was very special, very special. Mm -hmm. And is, is dad still on earth? No, he's, he, he passed away six months after her. Oh my goodness. Well, they've, they've connected or reconnected. She wants to tell you that. All right. And they've made peace together. Your dad was something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I, he, he tried to be emotionally there, but uh, sometimes this comes out. Watch for coins, finding coins. Would you please? Pennies okay. and dimes. Your dad's throwing them down for you. And I don't know how they got along when they were on Earth, but they've resolved a lot, Tracy. You need to hear this. Interesting. Yep. Your, your mother and father have resolved a lot. Okay. And I'm still uh -huh. going to say... Tell your brother or anyone older who's male to get a PSA test. That's the prostate. The prostate's men. So okay. tell, them, tell them to keep we'll physicals. Do that. Would you please? Okay. And your, your, yes, mother hand, your mother hands you a single rose. <laughs> That's pretty special. She says, you're my rose, Thanks. Tracy. And she says, there's no thorns on this one. And I think it's her way of saying you were a good daughter. You were a good daughter. For her. Yeah. And um, hear music too. Your mother loved music. Soft music. Nothing crazy. Like you mm -hmm. liked me. And you will percent will smell. Go ahead and repeat so that, I'm Michelle. Sorry, I, you cut out. Yeah. Michelle, repeat that. Okay. All right. Tracy, you'll smell your mother's scent. I'm sorry, we cut out. You oh, yeah. Smell... Okay. Do you smell her now? You will uh -huh. if, if you yes. haven't. Okay. Yeah, it's just yes, her way I of do. confirming. Yeah, I know. That's your way of confirming. And all laundry. <laughs> your mother's talking about you doing the laundry and the laundry uh, detergent. It's coming crazy. Hear me? Grace? Uh -huh. Okay, watch for the laundry detergent. Have you done uh, laundry? Okay. I, I got to move on, but there's something with mother's okay. laughing about it. Yeah, the mother's laughing <laughs> about laundry. Something about the laundry is what so, Michelle's saying. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Tracy, for calling. Okay. Take care, hon. Uh, thank you, Michelle. All right. That's great. So we have our next caller. Um, just waiting for your connection to clear up a little bit here, Michelle. Um, yeah. It's interesting. It's it's really uh, strong energy. <laughs> it's almost like there's a it's, veil in front of you. Yeah, it, I feel that. Yeah. I feel almost like there is a veil in front of me. And well, I'm, I'm also seeing feel almost uh, there's spirits like to your left, to your right. There's winged spirits as well. And, they're, and it's so um, powerful. I feel them. Yeah. I feel them coming in behind yeah. me. 
job. Yeah. And there, there's a whole group of them yeah. because they're waiting to talk to people. So I need to tell them to let the audio go and let us be able to speak. <laughs> yeah, right, right. To each other. So if this and, and and because of this this is happening, what I can do is switch to a picture and turn off your video and then we'll just do the show via radio if that makes if that will help um because it's really strong. I'm seeing it's it's really interesting because they're they're almost like in um a half circle around you. Exactly. Now I hear you very plainly right now. Yeah. We and we hear you plainly too. We just don't see. It's almost as if there's a veil literally in front of you and there's flashing. It seriously looks like there's spirit activity all around you. I'm not kidding. It's really wild. So join join us. Yeah. So I have a caller um that's trying to get through. She's in the chat room, Patty Bryan. So uh let us know what uh area code and uh next three digits that you're calling from and we'll get you on the line. I'm trying to prioritize some of the calls from the chat room, folks. So if you're in the chat room, you'll get a reading quicker than if you just call in, just to let you know. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go to our next caller, which is uh, area code 304. Uh, I think this is Amy. Amy, you're on the line. Can we have your name, please, and uh, where you're calling from, just to make sure we have it correct? Amy? Yes. Hi. Hi. You're on the line. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. Where are you calling from, Amy? I'm calling from West Virginia. West Virginia. What What is your question? Who would you like to hear from, dear? Um, I would like to, I'm just open for any messages from the other side or anything they'd like to say. Uh, anyone in particular? There's a male spirit here. There's a male wanting to say hello to uh, you. My, my dad? I think it might be your daddy. Um, yeah. He was, um, he had a good sense of humor, Amy. And he, mm -hmm. you were his girl, okay? Uh, he says baby girl. And he also tells me that there's going to be a couple decisions that need to be made for you coming up. I, I see boxes piling up. So you need to clear out your space, clear out your home, pare back, get rid of certain things. All right. He also mm -hmm. shows me a, a picture album. And he was a good looking man when he was younger. Your dad. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's a picture of him standing next to a car or he liked cars. Isn't that funny? And he very plainly shows. Yeah. Me a black, he shows me a black and white picture of him standing next to an old car. And this is probably 1950s, maybe or whatever so you'll you'll have you'll find that picture and um he has a new car in heaven he says <laughs> <laughs> what is it he drives around it's a cadillac <laughs> and I, I this sounds crazy i have to ask you did anybody ever listen to elvis <laughs> elvis my my <laughs> my great aunt well, she's ish, and she's passed because she's here and she says she's met up with Elvis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> and Elvis <laughs> always gave Cadillacs away. I don't know if you know that. Everybody that he liked, Elvis would give a Cadillac to. And your dad's chiming in. He says, and Elvis gave me one in heaven. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it sounds. Oh, my God. That's that is hysterical. <laughs> Elvis and you gave my dad a Cadillac. A Cadillac yeah. <laughs> and, and your great aunt liked Elvis. I, she may have gone to Graceland, but uh, yes. That, that yes, and that was the year of, of the uh, blue suede shoes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So another quick question. Um, yes. What is his? What does he do there? What's his job? Your 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 papa, your daddy, your daddy. Yeah. Yeah, he watches mm -hmm. over family a lot, um, comes and goes. Uh, he loves to come down at holidays now. He'll be with you November, December, your dad. He also, mm -hmm. um, help, who was a vet, Amy? Who served in the military and family? Um, you, World War his II. Brother. Yeah. And is his brother, is your uncle passed? No. 
Okay, he's acknowledging your uncle or his brother. I just have to tell you that. And what he's doing is he in heaven, he's helping uh, family members, your family members, who are about to pass. Now, I'm not saying next week. He's going to help to get them to the light. He has a dog as well, all right, with him, your dad. And I mm -hmm. guess it was a family dog. And he likes to walk around heaven down a country path with this dog who's right by his side, Amy. Right by his side. Okay. And he says, he's my best friend, Amy. He's my best friend. Do you have a, a son, Amy? I don't. Oh, I have to say somebody with you as well lost a child. Your dad has a little boy with him in heaven. All right. So this could be a sibling that had a miscarriage, but he has a little boy with him in heaven. And there's going to be an announcement of a pregnancy. I don't think I don't think it's you, but you wait and see. Can you hear me? Can you hear me more clearly? Yes, now? I can hear you good. Oh, great. Um, so and um, on your on your other call, you mentioned the pennies. I've been finding pennies in the most random places and they all have the same date. OK. What does the date mean to you? It has to mean something. They're all 2016, and it's the most oh. random places. Okay, well, it's this year. And your dad said you're going to go through some changes, remember? Uh, there's some changes mm -hmm. in, in the workplace and possibly clearing out and pairing back. I don't know if it's a relocation, but the energy shifting in the home for you. Isn't that interesting? Uh, and also, one yeah. more thing, there's an old rocking chair somewhere. Wow. I think we're at the end of the call, uh, Amy. Okay, thank you, Michelle. We have to move on. Watch for that rocking chair, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Amy. Those were angel chimes. Those were angel chimes because it's 444 Pacific times. <laughs> oh wow. Four four four, that's an angelic number. Yeah, that's why you heard you the angel that. chimes at four forty four. So I said in the chat room, it's angel time, four forty four. So if any if anybody watching, listening sees three three three, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. That's the number of protection. Four 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 is angels. Okay. One 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 is new beginnings. I'm not a numerologist, but watch for uh triple digit what, numbers. What what about twos? Two twenty two? Twos, uh, Am I putting you on the spot? Let me see. I, can... I don't know. I would say it's a matter of uh, companionship, pairing off. Okay. Something. And you know, uh, there's a great site that uh, you can get all of those too. Um, it's uh, yeah. a, a, a Sacred Scribes, Joanne's Sacred uh -huh. Scribes. Um, yeah. And uh, you Google those numbers and they'll they'll come up. Just put uh, 222 spiritual uh -huh. meaning and that'll come up. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting. The repeating, the 222s, two two the 555s, the 333s, 444s, four four yeah. all of the, those. The most questions I get are 333444 four, four, mm -hmm. and 111. Oh, okay. All the time. Yeah. And oh. I think 555s five, five, are Ascended Masters or Big Changes yeah. Coming or something like that. So just to let people right. know. All right. So we've got a lot of people in the chat room who <laughs> have joined the chat room after hearing and that the, we're prioritizing and the, calls. The audio is cleared. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's getting better. It's getting way better. So maybe they, they took a... <laughs> <laughs> they took they took a note from you and and, and pulled back the energy a little bit because they realized it was affecting the show, but um, okay so we have uh, seven one seven uh, five one four on the line. Can we have your name please and where you are calling from? My name is Patty. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hi, Patty. Is your hi? Is, how are you? She, I'm doing good, love. Is your mother passed away? Yes. All right. Right away, I heard mom. Mom's here. Immediately, I heard oh, that. Oh, is she? And she comes with a color blue, and that's the color of calm and peace, Patty. There's not a day that goes by that she doesn't pull her energy down around you. I have to tell you that. You've shed a lot of tears. Oh, good. You know, I'm getting this. Your mother's doing this. You were very close with her. Yes. And, I'm, and she says, I want my daughter to know that she was my best friend as well as my daughter. 
you had a lot of conversations with your mother. Are you there, Patty? All the time. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. Can you turn yes. your... Sweetheart, can you turn down the computer and just listen to the telephone, please? Because we're getting some feedback. On... Okay, is that better? Way better. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She tells me that you were her best friend, as I was saying um, before um, the echoing went on. Um, somebody is going to have to need glasses or ha is going to have eye trouble, Patty. Uh, poor okay, night. Vision. I have glasses. <laughs> okay. Well, get your eyes checked. Poor night vision is mentioned. Okay. All right. I don't think it's as serious yes. as glaucoma, but you better keep up with yourself. And then teeth are mentioned. There's another soul coming in with a dentures or partial. Um, they're laughing about their teeth. So you may have had a grandparent huh. that didn't take care of them, their, their teeth. Okay. And um, okay. It's, it's kind of funny. Your mother is with that soul. All right. And um, uh -huh. she watches out for you. And there's a screen door in the back of your house. This is strange. Is there um, a patio or deck? It, your mother wants to go to the back of your house and hang around there. All right. I have to tell you. That's kind of funny. There's a and, back patio. Yeah, that's where she <laughs> likes to hang around. And then somebody, oh. <laughs> may, somebody may have had an above-ground pool or an in-ground pool in family years ago. I think it might have been more of an above-ground oh, okay. pool. And I think your mother used to like to visit that, you know, that person. So also watch, uh -huh. for, car watch for cardinals. Would you please? Your okay. mother sent you cardinals, sweetheart. So okay. as, the, as the caller... She, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Is she... She's okay then. I, I do shed a lot of tears even to this day. And I it's know been you, a long time. I know. <laughs> your mother didn't like hospitals. She did not like needles. And... Um, no. <laughs> she wants to... She's letting me feel how she felt before she passed away. She tried to be really strong. Okay. Tried to be strong. But her hair is beautiful now, I have to tell you. And you'll always be her, her, little, her baby girl. Always. Always. So, um, Patty, thanks for calling in. Know that your mother was the first one through. Please remember the teeth. Somebody, a grandfather, or somebody had partials or dentures, okay? Really. Okay. A character. Okay. Okay, darling. So I'm going to move on. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling, Patty. And remember, you can listen back to the reading yes, thank online. thank you. Okay. And I also want to say to Patty real okay. quick about August. Watch what? for the month of August, sweetie. August is something. Okay. All right? Okay. A, a birthday. All righty. Crossing month. Thanks again. Okay. Uh, excellent. All right. So I was just letting folks know that the, the lines are full. We're doing our best to clear some up and get through as many readings as we can. Um, but I wanted to let folks know that Michelle's going to be uh, going on tour soon, right? You're going to be doing some, yes. uh, some dates. So can you let them know a little bit about that? I am going to Chocolate World. <laughs> Hershey. Oh, Hershey. Okay. Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. And uh, we are having a, a Thanksgiving afternoon with spirit oh and it's going to be wonderful I, i'll be doing random readings mm -hmm. and i'll be talking about my new book this uh, always fills hershey always fills in fact we are about two-thirds of the way full so mm. if anybody is listening to this and you want to get in mm -hmm. uh now's the time to do it uh we also have a thanksgiving buffet I'm on a morning drive time show, 105.7 The X, and Jen, my girlfriend Jen Shade, is going to be a co-host, uh, John. Oh, great. And she's fantastic yeah. as a co-host. So there's a lot of X listeners that come to these as well. Awesome. Well, let's show them a little bit about what to expect when they, sure. uh, when they attend. All right. If you enjoy The Michelle Livingston Show and want to see her in person, check out her next live seminar. So here we go. If you can work with me, close your eyes. We're going to take eight deep breaths and we're going to start. 
Have you recently lost a loved one? Who lost a, a, a husband recently? I have to take a deep breath with him. I feel it was fairly quick. Could you be the next one to get a reading? I think I'm with you, sweetie. There's a name like Bree. Uh, Bree. They're showing me cheese. That's the new one. They showed me Bree cheese and her daughter's name Bree. See how this works? This seminar will provide an experience that will truly enhance your understanding of the other dimensions. When we get over there, we train to help one or two people that are on the Earth plane and we train to be their guides or their helpers. And confirm that you... There's a dad figure coming through here. ...are never alone. Did you enjoy it? Oh, All right. So we're back. And uh, so, Michelle, tell us a little bit about that. So it's going to be coming up. Yeah, it's Sunday, uh, November 20th. Sunday, and November 20th. It, it starts off with uh, Q&As. People have had occurrences. They've had signs. They've had dreams. And sometimes they just don't know who to share that with. Mm -hmm. So they share their stories. And I talk about my books. And then I go and do random readings. As, as many people as I can get to, John. Great. For readings. Uh, we take a break. Uh -huh. And then we come back and there's more. There's more readings. And then we have a wonderful Thanksgiving meal. And this is a good place. Is this, this an all-day affair or? Well, it goes from approximately one to four. Uh, okay. Then we have dinner and a book signing. Wow, that's a, a lot. Book signing. <laughs> yeah. We always get, I don't want to get too large. So it's usually about 100 people, uh -huh. 110 people. And we're on our way. So Great. Full. So, yeah. Well, there's a lot it. of calls coming in from 717. So I wanted to get that out there that people can see you in person. So I believe seven one seven is Pennsylvania, right? So we were getting a ton of calls from Pennsylvania today. So um, just to let everyone know, that's why I'm in the chat room telling me, give me your next three digits because I'm looking for seven one sevens and there are a ton of them. <laughs> so give me. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Do we have a number three? I'll pick three. Yeah, <laughs> we we do. Uh, let's get to the next caller here. Um, that's five seven zero number three. Uh, this is I believe Jennifer five seven zero. Uh, please yeah, lower your volume, hon, and listen through your telephone. Hello? Hi. Can you turn, turn down your, your computer, please, and listen through yes. your telephone and Hi. no speakerphone, okay? Hi. Hi. Hi, Jen. Who would you like to hear from, Jennifer? My grandmother. Your grandma. Okay. Yes. She's a sweetie. She's homespun. Is there German in your background? German. Excuse me? Do you do you have any German in your background, do you know? German in my background. Um, G G German in yes. your family? Yeah. Well, this yes. is a this is a lady who's full of love, but very headstrong. <laughs> and very nurturing okay. for you, Jen. Very nurturing for you. In fact, I think she's one of your guides. And um, she shows me a porch. So she had a front or back porch. This is probably a living condition coming up. And I feel yes. with her, it, did, was there a porch? Yes. Okay. My grandmother's. Yeah, exactly. So she wants to take me there and show me her home. And she wants to take oh. me inside. Isn't that interesting? This is a memory. So yes. uh, there's, there's like a parlor or a front room. Um, she's giving me a tour. Yes. And then she's taking me back wow. to a mid to a midsection that would probably be a dining area, and then in the back is the kitchen. Is that right? Straight back would exactly. be the kitchen. So um yeah. She she misses the homestead. And believe it or not, what she's doing in heaven, she has recreated that place in her mind in heaven. Wow. She's going to set the Thanksgiving table. And okay. she's, get, she's getting out her good dishes to do that. Do you know who has her dishes? To, are her dishes um, handed down? Who has her dishes? Nanny's dishes. Somebody in family has uh, them. Okay, and, I'll have to find out. <laughs> Well, you better find out, honey. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she wants you to use her dishes this Thanksgiving, Jen. 
Isn't that funny? How about um, how, how about her daughter, Kim? Kimmy. She calls her Kimmy. Yes. And Kimmy. What's, your, what's your question about Kimmy? Hello. Um, I, I'm just wondering how, uh, how things are going, you know, with her. She, they're protecting her through uh, her. Is Kimmy on earth? Yes. She's having a very hard time since my nan's passed. Yes. Tell her that nanny loves her. Would you please? Uh, tell her to keep up with mammograms. She's not taking care of herself, Kim. It's not taking care of herself. She needs to keep yes. up with physicals. Tell her that nanny tucks her in at night. Okay. She tucks her in at night. Yes. Yeah, and this will be replayed, okay. so you'll be able to see it and hear it. Kim needs to slow down, and I don't know if she's on medication or any kind of substances, okay. but I kind of feel okay. that. I think it's for anxiety, mm -hmm. and Kim has trouble sleeping. I know that. So yes. just, just tell her to, to relax that her nanny's with her. Her nanny's blowing her a kiss, just like that. That's so neat. And um, okay. maybe Kim can call in sometime, Jen. If I had Kim she on is, the line. She is on, she is on another line. Oh, and heavens. I'm praying that you pull her through. <laughs> I don't pull them through. Yes. They, just, they just pop up. Right, John? <laughs> well, I think I might have yes, Kim right please. here. Kim, are you on the line? Is this yes. the Kim we're yes, talking I about? Am. There you go. I was yeah. able to. Oh my, you got to yeah. be kidding me. Hi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting for like an hour. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Hi, Kim. Is this Hi. your is this your mother that they're talking about or it's your my grandmother? Mother. Yes. It's my mother. Yeah, yes. you had it's a Jen. It's Jen's grandmother, my mother. Right. Uh what a beautiful soul she is. And I do have to say she's mentioning uh, I'm getting August September with you too. August September. My birthday. September. Yes. Yeah. So she starts to pull her energy down, Kimmy, uh, around mid-August throughout September for you, uh, mm -hmm. for, for your birthday. She mm -hmm. is begging me to tell you to please take care of yourself. Uh, you have some... Yeah, I know, what she's, I know what she's talking about. I know what she's talking about. I know. I know you best. But I do keep up with my mammograms, and I even get ultrasounds besides mammograms. Good. So. Because there may have mm -hmm. been in the background of family some problems here. I, I had breast cancer already. I did. Okay. okay. I, uh, have, I have severe fibroid tumors. So yeah. That's why I have to have ultrasounds every six months. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. th thank you for confirming it because your mother knows about mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. she has an angel for you, Kim. Angel. So the, you have a figurine or Christmas ornament, some angel she wants to give you. Uh, it's a picture of an angel somewhere. What is that? There's an angel. Can you tell? There, it's all over my house. Ain't now I have yeah, to narrow I... it down. <laughs> yeah. she, uh, she but I do you... have her dishes. I have her dishes. I have her china that you she were talking watched... about earlier. Yes. That she wants the dishes for Thanksgiving dinner. I yes. have them. Um, move one of the angels to your bedroom, would you? You need an angel in your bedroom, all right? Okay, okay. Your mother, your mother wants to watch over you like an angel. And I don't think she liked tattoos, but somebody might be thinking about it, of getting one. And it doesn't necessarily yeah, mean... Yeah, I, I want to, um, but I have a very low pain tolerance, <laughs> so I haven't. And she did not like tattoos on women. I know. She didn't like that. She did, well, yeah. then don't get, don't get one. Yeah. <laughs> but, but she shows I was going to get a memorial on my back with her I name. Know. And, I know. Yeah. And probably wings or something, she tells me. Yes, yes, angel wings, I, yes, and I, her name I, in between them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. She yeah. shows it to me. So yeah. she wants you to know always, listen to me, 
that she's your angel watching over. You don't need to pierce your skin to have that happen. She's always watching over you, sweetheart. And uh, who has the light color? I'm sorry? Who is the lighter colored eyes? Who is the light eye, colored eyes? Blue, green? Not who is me. Uh, my son has green. Thank you. My son. All right, honey. Yep. It's her way of loving your little boy. He's not so little anymore, but acknowledging no, him. No, no. Okay. Yes, she, he was her favorite. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I know. I know. She says the one with the bluish green eyes. Yep. And yep. Please, listen, please do not worry about your son because your mother, Kim, is going to train to be a guide. That's what the show is about, it seems. <laughs> Spirit guides tonight. Yeah. All right. Don't worry about him. He's going to be okay. All right, okay. darling. I am okay. so happy. I, that I have a family. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? It's so funny. And, and, I am, and Kim, I, am I apologize amazing. for the uh, delay with getting you on the air. Uh, your call was showing That's up as okay. anonymous, so I wasn't even oh, sure. Yes, so I, just... I have an unlisted phone number. Okay, so. got it. Okay. Oh, yes. One other thing, yeah. Kim. Kim, yes. she says no one cooks uh, like she did. Do you have recipes for Thanksgiving? Yes, I make a lot of her stuff, yes. Uh, yes. She's talking I make about a lot of her dishes. Stuffing mm-hmm. and yep. gravy. Stuffing and gravy. Gravy. Oh, <laughs> nobody can make gravy like her. No, I, I tried, but I could never copy it. <laughs> no, never. She says no lumps. Don't have any lumps in the gravy. <laughs> I know. She. Yeah, exactly. She would say that, too. And, yep. Yep. Anything, no, say, anything yeah. else from any, you, Jennifer? Any, I think. Yes. I think we're good. I think it's time to move on. Maybe another call. Okay. God bless Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Honey. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Bye. Jennifer. Thanks, Kim. Take care. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, they were both on at the same time, so that's why I wanted to make sure that they both had equal. It, you yeah. know, it's so nice, John, to have confirmation. Yes, it is. That we have the granddaughter, we have the mother, and then the grandmother of the youngest one, I guess, who was Jen. Uh, yeah. And all these confirmations about Thanksgiving. And so um, it's nice to read for families. So sure when is. someone draws a blank and doesn't remember, another family member can chime in. Right. Nice. All right. So this caller has been holding for over an hour. So this is 717-449. You're on the air with Michelle. Can we have your name, please? And where are you calling from? Uh, Tara, Columbia, Pennsylvania. Is, what is your name, dear? Tara. Tara, T A R A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, t- Tara, Tara. Who would you like to hear from? Yeah. T- Tara. Who would you like to hear uh, from? My 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 mother-in-law or father. All right. Um, you're still married. You still married, right? Yeah. I yeah. have mother-in-law. I have mother-in-law through. Now again, I'm getting a cancer symbol. So the cancer yeah. symbol. Yeah. It's always correct, except sometimes it goes over people's heads. Your mother-in-law had cancer, correct? Yes. She's through. She says, hi, Tara. Thank you. Thank you for being with my son. She says there's changes for him at work. And tell him not to stress over it. He's going to be fine. And then she points to railroad tracks. So... His family may have lived near tracks, worked on the railroad, worked at, in a factory. Would you ask your husband that, please? Who was with, okay. who lived near the railroad? Um, okay. She's mentioning May. So May's a birth month or crossing month, Tara. Okay. And if you know it, let me know, please. And no, also- I don't. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, It's his side of the family. And May's also Mother's Day. He's taken it pretty hard, the passing of his mother. She was was the hub of the wheel of of your husband's side of the family. I hope he's listening. (laughs) Because she said, I'll always love... (laughs) She she says, I'll always love my boy. He's number one to me. And you've been a good wife, so you should pat yourself on the back, Miss Tara. She, she, she does he like to grill? Does your husband grill during the summer months? 
Yes. Bur- <laughs> <laughs> she watches your husband when he flips the burgers. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> to make sure he doesn't burn them. <laughs> that, that's right. She says he has to keep his mind focused on things. He tends to go off <laughs> yeah. with his mind, doesn't he? Go here, there, everywhere. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So his mother's trying to focus him. I think I may have your daddy. And um, dad comes okay. in. Um, I also, and this is always correct, somebody had a diabetic or a glucose imbalance now, Tara. Was that a okay. grandparent of yours or is that in your husband's side? There, uh, my grandmother and also my mother-in-law both did. Right. So is your grandma passed? Yes. All right. She's here talking about her diabetic condition. Her legs hurt her. And she had okay. swelling or edema, your grandmother, at the end of her life. She had difficulty yeah. in walking. Right. Mm-hmm. So you you have a nice representation. <laughs> you have your mother-in-law <laughs> who, who really cares for you. you. You have a grandmother who had the diabetic condition. And uh, you also have your dad. I like your dad. Did he smoke? Who smoked? Um, I don't really know much about my dad. I haven't seen him since I was young, but I just yeah. keep feeling I, that he's trying to give me a message. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. He loves you. He's sorry he wasn't there. Uh, but I know he smoked early on. And he says that he's trying to make up. That's what it is. Make up for not being there for you, darling. Okay. He okay. does love you. But your dad at, the, okay. at that time. Listen to me. Your dad at that point in his life could not handle a lot of responsibility, emotional responsibility. So, um, but anyhow, uh, when you when your husband flips a burger this summer, know that his mother's <laughs> yeah. watching. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. And, and listen, um, macaroni salad. I, this is a food thing. I know it sounds nuts. And potato salad. Uh-huh. So you must like picnics. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your mother in law says, get out the food, get out the summer food. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just have one more quick question. I just was curious of the name of my spirit guide. Um, it's do not laugh about this. Female spirit guide, Annabelle. A N A. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. A N A. B E L L E, and she's from Victorian era. Annabelle. She goes back to the 1800s. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So you were with her in a past life. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All See right. You. Thank you. Thank All you right. for calling. Thanks for your patience, hon. Thank Take care. you. All Bye. right. All right. So, Michelle, how you doing? I'm doing fine. You doing good? I'm just glad the audio cleared up. Yeah. Yeah, it's clearing up. It's getting it's getting better. We're having you know, a little bit here and there, but uh, it's it's really whenever you get real deep into <laughs> discussing the details of the of of the the person who's crossed over, it's when it starts acting up. So I know, I know. Um, but <laughs> but it's all good because we will uh, I will repeat the best you know I can of what you're saying so that the caller can hear better. So uh, we have uh, at least two more calls um, that I promised that we would get to. So we are in overtime. Um, and we are in overtime because of the audio uh, issues. We want to make sure that, uh, you know, um, folks are happy <laughs> trying to get through as many as we can. I just want to make sure, Michelle, you're good with uh, the energy and, oh, and, yeah. and keeping it going. You're good with it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, sweetheart. All right, so we have uh, area code uh, 717 again, 439 on the line. Is uh, Could we have your name, please? Because the, the computer it says Nori, but I don't think that's correct. 717-439? Is it Nori in N O R I? Lori. Lori with the L. L O R I. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. So when you guys would call in, it, it asked for you to record your name, and sometimes it gets the names wrong. So I have to just say whatever the, what it oh, says. Okay. It so, answered real quick, and I was nervous. So. Oh no problem. All right. Well, I'll put you on line with Michelle. Here you go. Hi, Lori. How Hi. are you? Hi, Michelle. Good. How are um, you? I'm doing fine. Uh, do you have a brother past? Yes. Oh my gosh, I have a brother figure for you. He said, Lori, he says, Lori, I could not 
let this go by without coming through to say, I'm with you more than you know. And I also have to say, um, he didn't have, he wasn't very well at the end. I feel like his health has, went down pretty quickly. And why is yeah, he showing he why, why is he showing me trains? Now, see, with another caller, I saw railroad tracks. And I'm seeing them because again. Because he, he was a steam engine engineer, mm, steam locomotive. Wow. Yeah, the tracks always mean something, always. He they loved either his live, trains, him and my oh. dad. Did you do any memorial for him uh, with trains or something? Um, yes, this... we um, took his ashes down to where he worked down at Strasburg, and, and his friend put him in the firebox, and they took the train back and blew the ashes out the smokestack, and then we oh. threw up balloons. He loved that. He says, Lore. Pretty. He calls you Lore. He says that was oh. the best. That was the best thing you could have done for me. And um, I'm glad you, you liked it. Yeah, you still think of him a lot. Um, every day. Yeah. And and life's not easy, sweetheart. But you have a very good heart. I feel your heart. It's a very compassionate sweetheart. Um, yeah, I miss here. him. I know you do, because he he's wearing jeans. A very get down. Mm-hmm. You know, is he up there running and, trains? Uh, pardon? Is he up there running trains? Yeah, and this is so funny. He shows me a Christmas tree with a train set underneath. Isn't that funny? Yeah, my dad used to do that. Your, your dad used to put up a train set? Yes. Is your Every dad Christmas. Passed- Took up the whole is living room. You- is, is he passed away, your dad? Yes. All right, Actually, it was nine years ago yesterday. Wow. He's saying hello. He says, hi, hello. Lori. He says, I'm with your brother. He says, we're running trains in heaven. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> did I you know that it? yesterday on Facebook. I did. Wow. Whoa. That's amazing. So anyhow, yeah, just know that they're together. Um when I see the train with the Christmas tree, it brings out the inner child of, of your brother. And, um, mm-hmm. and your, your dad's protecting, I have to tell you, protecting you and protecting um, uh, children, your husband, whoever's around you. Your dad's very, he oversees a lot, Lori. He protects a lot. All right. So mm-hmm. just, just know he's, he's with you, sweetie. Is All my right. friend Steve around there too? Wow. You have a lot passed. A lot of males. Yeah. Yeah, my friend Steve sense. passed away this year too. His birthday's coming up next week. Wow. Um, I hear music with, with him. I don't know if he liked music, if he ever played music, um, or he, he liked to listen to bands or something like that. I don't get him fully through, but he's a soul brother, Lori. I'm hearing he's a soul oh. brother. If that makes sense. We went to concerts together. Oh, he says, dry your tears. He says, I'm with you. He goes like this. Remember the good times, he says. Remember the music. So that'll okay. lighten your heart. That'll lighten your heart. He must, know I've been, he must know I've been crying over in the last couple of days. Yeah. Yep. He says, lighten up. Think of the, think of the music and the laughter. Mm. <laughs> okay. He, he has a nice smile. He looks great, honey. So oh, I'm, glad I was, I'm glad I was able to get the three for you. Your brother, your dad, I and then your friend. That. It's okay, interesting because... Do you know who my spirit guides are? What, were you going to say something, John? Oh, I was just going to mention that uh, John in the chat room says that Stroudsburg has an antique train museum. And uh, so that's interesting. Are you calling from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania? Stroudsburg? No, I'm in Enola. Are, is that okay. nearby? Stroudsburg. Yeah, it's about 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aww. Down near Lancaster. That's that's really kind of neat. And I see a cap, you know, like a railroad cap. That's kind of funny. Yeah. But um. So you're asking about spirit guides, sweetheart. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just sharing from the chat room. No, that's okay. I just wondered if she knew who they were. So, um, are you enjoying the show? Have you had? Have you? Is this your first time calling in, or have you called in before? This uh, last time I tried to call, it was busy. So I. 
Oh time yeah. I called and I got through right away, but then I was on hold for a long time. But it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that your brother came through and uh, was able to yeah, deliver that too. that information. That's that's awesome. Um. So, yeah. So it's very wow. That's really interesting. What I'm going to try to do is, um, if I don't lose you in the process here, uh, <laughs> you're still with me, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to get Michelle back on here um, and see what we can do. But let's see if we can get her on. Uh, the connection. Hello. There Hello. she is. There she is. Oh All my right. gosh. Hi, what sweetheart. Uh, she, it's like in the, I was in the astral world. I know. That's what we were just saying. We were talking, <laughs> and she's still on the line. So we were just talking about uh, how she was seeing the activity too that, that we were describing earlier when your connection was getting really, really fuzzy. And it looked just like a veil. And then we could see almost like images um, moving around you that well, were not you it was really amazing for heaven's sakes and yeah i'm getting all kinds of like beeps and static and <laughs> like like a radio being tuned in well she this was a- she was asking about her spirit guide so can you, you tell us do you get any messages about her spirit guide yes yes um Lori. the first name i got was mark it's a male you have a male Lifetime spirit guide. His name's Mark. Can you hear me now, Lori? We hear you fine. Yes, I can hear you. It's it's M A R K. Okay. He is uh, from another lifetime with you. Goes it goes okay. way back in time. And will you please call upon him? You need to journal. You need to write your feelings down. You need to get things off your your chest, so to speak. Just put his name at the top of a piece of paper, Mark. All right. Okay. And then ask okay. him for some guidance. And, um, I think he might even come through with spontaneous writing for you, darling. All right. So anyhow, I'm glad we were able to connect. It's been one of those nights. I'm telling you, it's all souls day. And I think that's, that's what's going on here. November 2nd, 2nd, they're very, all the ones I wanted to hear from. (laughs) So anyhow, bless you, Lori. Guess we'll move on. Thank you. Okay. All right, Michelle. Bye. So I don't think I have your video back, but we'll keep going with with the with the um, the pictures <laughs> in the in the meantime, <laughs> and get to our next color because I know our next color has been holding for a very long time. Um, okay. From area code two zero nine, uh, you're on the line with Michelle. Can we have your name, please, and where you're calling from? Hi, my name is Denise from Manteca, California. Hi, Denise. How are Hi. you? I'm great. Thank, thank you. Thank you for holding, uh, my dear. Um, yeah. who, who, would, who would you like to hear from, Denise? Well, I have quite the list, but I've been anxious to hear from my former husband. All right. Your husband. Um, it is his birthday today, and I was just, I, I get a lot of signs from him, but I was just hoping to see if he has a. Yes. Can you hear me, Den- Denise? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, um, I think I have your husband through. Lots of love here. He wants to give you a heart. And I do have to say February is the the month of love. Um, He's also mentioning wedding rings, so I don't know if there's an issue with them. Do you have his ring? Well, actually, um, Gary and I got married on Valentine's Day. And as far as the wedding, I got married three weeks ago. Oh, oh, my goodness. So you did get married on Valentine's Day. I married him on Valentine's Day, but um, my most recent husband was just a few weeks ago. Wow. Well, he's congratulating mm-hmm. you, Denise. Do you know something? <laughs> your husband picked out your new husband, the one that's communicating. He, he pulled strings to get you your new husband. <laughs> but I well, that's to- kind of odd. I, well, it is, but there's no animosity. He wants you to be happy, hon. He wants you to be happy. Uh-huh. And uh, also water energy is good for you. It, it really is. Like cruises mm-hmm. and um, the beach. Mm-hmm. Your, your husband said that you had a good life together. He says that mm-hmm. uh, you were the light of his life. You, you, you light up my life. That's an old song. And um, mm-hmm. Hawaii is coming up. Hawaii. Have you ever been to Hawaii, Denise? I got married in Hawaii three weeks ago. I thought you got married. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay, this is so gonna. I know he was. I know he knows. 
I was going to say, this is going to freak you out. Your husband from Spirit World was at your wedding in Hawaii. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> and you know, that doesn't you just, surprise me. <laughs> how they have beautiful orchid lays, you know, that you put around your neck. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he wants to give you one of those um, and almost, I don't know if you exchanged lays at the wedding, but your husband has, did. did you? So he's showing yeah, me, it was part of it. Oh, uh, he's showing me you exchanging um, orchids at, at the honeymoon. And he says, um, plumeria and hibiscus. So it mm -hmm. might have been a garden setting uh, or, or the beach where these beautiful uh, blossoms were. You're going to be very happy, Denise. It was a lot to lose uh, your husband who sang hello from heaven. But you're going to be mm -hmm. very happy. And I really, I have to tell you how ecstatic and happy your own husband is from heaven that you're getting on with life. All right. <laughs> you're getting on with life, darling. And um, did do you have children, Denise? Yeah, we have two children together. Yeah, he's acknowledging um, the, the kids or, or the children. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he will, as you know, he'll be watching over and protecting them. And um, mm -hmm. how old is the youngest? 19. Okay, because that's the one he loves both that's starting out on a new venture of life. And adulthood. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that your mm -hmm, husband's really going to, yeah, that, that's the one that he's really going to protect. Coming up. Okay. And um, I that, ask him to all the time. And so he I, knows that's our agreement. Yeah, he hears you <laughs> more than you'll know. <laughs> because she's away from me and I can't always protect them like I want to. Yeah, I know. But guess what? Your husband's the hero. I want you to know he's the hero. Mm -hmm. So in their travels, whatever they're doing, um, your daughter's somewhat creative, the one that that's 19. Yeah. So I do have to say yeah. he, uh, he's so proud of both of them. But uh, she's going to be doing something in life that's somewhat creative. You wait and see. You wait and see, sweetheart. Yes. So, so we so, had a daughter together that passed away. Uh-huh. And I've gotten different answers. So I feel she's reincarnated as one of my children. And is he able to touch on that? Oh, my, 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 my. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if she's reincarnated as one of your children. I'm almost thinking grandchild eventually. Okay. I know you've heard different things, but I almost feel like she wants to mm -hmm. come back as a grandchild. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? That was mm -hmm. not meant to be. For some reason, Denise, the timing was not right. See, we choose our parents to learn and grow with. And I do mm -hmm. have to say, sweetheart, that that, that that soul changed its mind for some reason, and it wasn't mm -hmm. meant to be. But your husband mm -hmm. has, has her. And is your, mother, is your mother still on earth? Yes. Would you please tell her to take care of herself? Just keep up with everything. Mm-hmm. Would you? Yeah, she, she's trying. I know. I know, I know she's she trying. She smoking, but you know. Yeah, I know that. But um, I'm just getting some bronchial complications. Uh, she just needs to curb it. So maybe she, if she gets this message, maybe she'll curb it. Okay, Denise? Mm -hmm. yes. So listen, congrats on your Hawaiian wedding. And um, that's something else that your other husband was there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was funny because um, we got engaged on a cruise ship, and the gentleman that sold me the engagement ring was named Gary, which was yeah. his name, and so I really took that as a sign of approval. It was, and, and I just said cruise, remember? <laughs> you either uh -huh, worked yeah. cruise and we got engaged on the cruise. Oh, congratulations. Fascinating. I'm Thank so you. glad you're, you're listening yeah. in. I'm so glad, sweetheart. Thank congratulations. You. Okay, and have a happy, happy marriage. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, Denise. Thanks for calling, Aww. Denise. Thank you for your patience. I'm glad that we were able to connect you. You're welcome. All right. Take care. Okay. All right. So, Michelle, we're at the end of the show, unfortunately. I gone, it flew by. It's like an hour and a half into it. So. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, 
you were incredible as always. I, I, I'm always just astounded by the accuracy and by the detail that you bring in. And, Thank uh, you. yeah. And you're, you're a wonderful co-host. You're my brother. Oh, so, um, I, John, and you were great tonight through all these audio visual. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But everyone seems to be having a great time in, in the chat room. And I want to invite people uh, to, uh, you know, connect with us in the chat room on UBN radio channel two. And uh, we prioritize uh, calls for the show through the chat room. So, um, not to say that we don't take calls, you know, if you're not in the chat room, but just to say we prioritize uh, throughout and you can participate in the show, contribute to the show by being in the chat room if you can't be on the phone line. So, uh, Yes, and I need to reconfirm that because uh, I have a lot of messages on my, my fan page after this. Yeah. So they, they need to know that that – there is a chat room, and I think I mentioned that. So Yeah, just to let people know, um, Facebook Live, that's where we broadcast, and also to UBN. But during the show, we don't see the Facebook Live comments because they fly by so quickly. So what we have is the chat room so that we can scroll up and down and see the comments and sort of just you know interact with everybody throughout the show. So we're not right. ignoring your Facebook Live comments, and Michelle actually goes back and reviews them after the uh -huh. shows and um, you know interacts uh, there, but not during the show because that would be too much <laughs> and, and you know giving readings and, and yeah. trying, trying to do all that but uh you know we do appreciate wherever you tune in and i also want to let you know that the show lives on in podcast form which means you can listen to it or view it um on youtube on uh facebook on michelle livingston's the people's medium page um also on itunes on stitcher on Spreaker and iHeartRadio, so you can go back and listen to it if you're driving or something like that, and you know, and you can't watch. So just to let you know, it lives in different and carnations. It's well, happy All Souls Day. It yeah, was, it was it was a pretty pretty unusual show, but I thank everybody for watching and calling. I, yeah. yeah, it was great, and I think um, we might want to do a continuance of the spirit guides. It seems like a lot of people are interested in uh, finding out who their spirit guide is. So that, that is true. So that's a good one. Maybe we'll start doing that with each call. I don't know if that is that too much uh, when you no, when you connect. No, absolutely not. All right, so that's perfect. So we'll and so that will be able to uh, get their own guidance by working with their spirit guides. So mm -hmm. that'll be really cool. All yeah. right, Michelle. Well, thank you so much, Han. Thanks for bearing with all the with the issues. But I really find that interesting because when you go back and watch the video, you'll see. There is the when we talk about the veil and the spirits moving behind it. It's very very interesting. Um, oh. you, you know, I don't yeah. I don't believe in uh, just you know just technical for technical sake. Exactly. <laughs> look, I can hear you. I can hear you perfectly now. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. It's just very so. interesting. All right, sweetheart. Well, you take care. Love See you. Next Wednesday. Love you, John.